Hi guys, I'm Spurti. Welcome to my channel. A year ago, my husband and I had gone to this calm beach town, Karwar. Karwar is a beach town about an hour's drive from Gokarna. I've been to many beaches, but I felt Karwar is very calm and not so explored. It's like a weekend getaway from Bangalore, Goa, Hubli. So we took an overnight bus from Bangalore on a Friday evening at around 8.30 p.m. and reached Karwar at around 7.30 in the morning. You also have trains from Bangalore to Karwar, but it takes longer than the bus. The nearest airport to Karwar is Goa International Airport, which is approximately 100 kilometers from Karwar. Karwar is easily accessible via road from Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore and Mangalore. So if you wish to drive to Karwar, that's an option as well. The best season to visit Karwar is the winter season that lasts from October to February. So let me tell you about where to stay, eat and the means of transport. We stayed at Aditi Comforts, which is a service apartment. It's reasonable and clean. And it's about 800 meters from the Tagore beach and 400 from the Karwar bus stand. There are other options to stay in Karwar let me leave the list of the hotels and the price range in the description box below. We tried a few restaurants in Karwar, to name a few, Shweta Lunch Home, Hotel Amrit and Shruti Sagar. About the transport, most of the places we took the bus from the Karwar bus stand and some places we took auto. The reason we took the bus is to get the feel of the place. You could take an auto or a taxi from your hotel. So to begin with the itinerary. You would reach Karwar in the morning if you take the bus. You can have breakfast and check into the hotel. Request the hotel for an early check-in. You can take some rest, have lunch and leave to Tilmati beach at around 4.30 pm. It is one of the few black sand beaches in India and it's unexplored. It's a short trek about half an hour from Majali beach. So when we went to the beach, the beach was empty and it was like our own private beach. You can take a bus from Karwar bus stand, tell the driver you want to go to Majali beach. The driver will stop the bus close to Majali beach on the highway and you have to walk a bit. Or else, you can take a cab or an auto from the hotel you are staying at. From Tilmatti beach, you can go to Karwar rock garden. We went around 7pm. It's nice to take a stroll in the park in the evening when it's not sunny. The lighting makes the park look pretty. The next morning, you can go to Devbagh beach to see the sunrise or take a stroll on the beach before it gets too hot. You can also do water sports on Devbagh beach. You can also go to Tagore beach and try paramotoring. It's nothing but paragliding with a motor. It can seat one person at a time and you will be accompanied by an experienced instructor. Once you take off, you will be treated to the scenic views of the expansive sea below, the sandy shores of the beach and the frothy waves. You can also catch a glimpse of the surrounding hillock and the city of Karwar itself. The experience cost about 2000 to 2500 rupees for about 8 to 10 minutes. And yes, you can carry a selfie stick with you to capture the experience. There are other water sports activities in the Tagore beach which you could try as well. If you wish to see dolphins and visit the unexplored islands like Kurumagad and Lighthouse Island, there is a tour agency called Pruffle Boat Service. I'll leave the contact details in the description box below. The tour takes about 2 hours and it's supposed to be very nice. If this tour interests you, you can book this tour. And if you happen to be in Karwar on a Sunday, there is a market that happens on every Sunday. Lots of local products, fruits and vegetables are all available in this market. You can also go to the Warship Museum and the Karwar Aquarium. Both are open from 9am to 1pm, 2pm to 6pm. We went only to the War Museum and decided to skip the aquarium. There are few more places that you can visit in Karwar. They are Sadashivkar Fort, Kali River Garden, Sri Naganath Temple and Malikarjun Temple. Thank you guys for watching my video, hope you guys liked it and for more such travel related itinerary videos please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with another travel related video soon. Until then stay tuned. Bye.